Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1055. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about millionaires surveyed said inflation is the biggest problem. But before I get to that, I want to review what happened last week because commodities prices started to fall, which shows that we're having some reduction of inflation. And that's good news. Prices in wheat and oil declined and oil dropped from $120 a barrel down to $107 a barrel. And since oil impacts many other prices because it's a component of delivery, supplies, shipping, so it's built into just about everything that we buy, it's important to watch which direction the price of oil is going. So that's very good news to see it's getting lower. The other good news was that stocks were up about 6% higher last week. So we had a rip-roaring week and across the board in the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the S&P 500, they were sharply higher. Now we'll probably have a mixed week this week because that's a lot to go up in one week and we'll have a little bit of selling off and some profit taking and that's normal. But I still am seeing the market moving much, much higher. And I think that we're very oversold. We have professional investors more short than they have been in years, which is a bullish sign that markets will go higher. And stocks are really under-owned, which we'll talk more about in just a second. But the other thing I reported on Friday was that Federal Express, not the Federal Reserve, Federal Express, the shipping company. Some people were getting that confused. It is not the Federal Reserve that said no recession. It is Federal Express, the box shipping company, that said, based on all the orders that they process, and according to CNBC, they are a bellwether company that is early to be able to spot economic weakness or economic strength. And they came out and gave guidance that there is economic strength. All this jawboning about recession, they're not seeing it. They said, yes, things have slowed a little bit, but they're still seeing growth. There's still more packages being delivered than before. And they're saying they do not see a recession on the horizon. So that was very good news. And that's very contrarian to everything else we're hearing out there. But that's often what happens when you're at a turning point, when things are starting to go the other way and prices are starting to come down. Inflation is starting to ease a little bit. You start to hear these rumors from companies in the know that, no, we're not having the massive weakness that we've been told. Yes, mortgage companies are in a terrible position and they felt the brunt of the interest rates rising. We've had whole departments be let go at banks that are in the mortgage area. And that's because loans and refis really slowed down. So they directly were impacted by interest rates going up so quickly. But we still have a very tight job market. We still have more jobs available than we have people to work. And that's not typically what you see going into a recession. What you see going into a recession is typically massive layoffs across the board and massive job cuts everywhere. And we're not seeing that. We're seeing that mainly in the mortgage sector. Now, back to the title of this episode and that is that millionaires were surveyed and they said inflation is what they see as the biggest problem. First of all, according to the CNBC survey, 20% of millionaires think that inflation will last two years. So that's not a very high percentage, only 20%. And when asked what the greatest risk to the economy was, they said inflation was number one. But here's what's interesting. In the next two years, 21% believe there will be no recession. 25% believe there will be a recession next year. 
27% believe we're already in a recession, and 34% believe there will be a recession in 2022. Remember, a recession is defined as two negative GDP quarters back to back. A couple other interesting things in this survey, 23% of millionaires plan to buy stocks, but right now they are the most under allocated in stocks in the last eight years since the survey started. Another contrarian indicator that is very bullish. Because when people are under allocated or overly short or overly negative or overly bearish, and we've seen all of that right now, usually that indicates the opposite is going to happen. And a lot of people were surprised last week that the market went up 6% across the board. But if you've been listening here, I've been telling you that's the direction we're going to be going and more of that is ahead. So yes, we'll have some up and down days, but the direction to me feels like inflation is slowing. There's clear signs of it. This is going to be showing up more and more and become more apparent to people. And that's good news for the economy and good news for the stock market. So I'm still very bullish, particularly in the month of July. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available so you never miss one of them. And the entire Wealth Mentoring Library is on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts, where there's all kinds of topics that you can find out more about so you can get to financial freedom faster. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.